Who will actually create the metaverse? My answer is clear. It's bullshit. There won't be a perfect metaverse until Zuck has wet dreams. Something like this would be a great start. The company that is the best position for this. Now, that's a video I wanted to make a long time ago already, but the problem is that on YouTube, we're kind of forced to have an optimistic opinion on pretty much all kinds of trendy bullshit, because it attracts attention and views. So if you want a video to succeed, you must be overexcited about the current hype, whatever it is. If you're not, it becomes more difficult. That's why instead of making certain videos on controversial topics, which I hold strong opinions about, I sometimes simply ignore them altogether. But there are also moments when I just can't hold it back anymore, so concerning the metaverse, I'm just gonna say it. It's bullshit. I am dumbfounded by how such bullshit can generate such hype, and there's so much to say about it. However, I also admit that some specific projects will indeed succeed and become attractive to people, getting close to the idea of a metaverse, but they won't be what most people think. So let's talk. Most people heard about the notion of the metaverse when Zuck announced it in 2021 and changed the name of Facebook group to Meta. And I made a video about this back in time. The idea is a 3D world where you walk inside with your avatar and interact with things and other people. But it's not at all anything new actually. The concept is older than the internet itself. It first appeared in a usable form in the 2000s. Anyone around here remembers Habo Hotel? If you do, let me know in the comments if you tried it. It had its popularity, people were walking around and chatting, basically. It was nice. Then there was Second Life in 2003, which kept improving over time and still exists today with more than 70 million registered accounts and around 200,000 daily active users. They also generate revenue and are already way more advanced than anything Facebook can pull off. But there are many other worlds like Decentraland, The Sandbox and Roblox. The line between what is a video game and what is not is extremely blurred. Second Life specifically claims that it is not a video game, while Roblox is a platform that allows people to create minigames. Some young creators even make money off the games they make inside it. And where does Facebook fit into all of this? Nowhere, <laughs> except their virtual headset, which is a perfect device for such games slash not games, but they don't have enough capabilities for the actual metaverse software. And yet they are so pumped about it that they literally changed their name and everything to represent the metaverse. They imagined something way more popular and way more mainstream than the niche projects that I cited previously. But this isn't going to work. Even the current metaverse projects are not going to emerge into this massive vision. People are barely using them. Why is that so? There won't be a perfect metaverse until one of these two conditions is met. Either the graphics are insanely realistic, or it's really fun, it makes you want to spend time in it. Or both, of course. Today absolutely no metaverse project matches this criteria. Decentraland, Roblox and Second Life are extremely ugly, even though better technologies exist. But then they are also not really fun. Some people find something to them, but otherwise it's very weird. Oftentimes, it's mainly the kids who like the stuff. So none of this will go mainstream. However, what is fun and sometimes very visually appealing are video games. And so we're back to the blurred line of whether the metaverse is a video game or not. And my answer is clear. It must be a video game. And if it ever exists, it will emerge out of a video game. Actually, many games today better fit the description of a metaverse than all the projects that claim to be the metaverse. GTA 5 Online is a metaverse, or it could be if it wanted to. Fortnite from Epic Games is a metaverse and veers sometimes into completely new things like virtual concerts and so on. Epic Games, by the way, is an extraordinary company and you should definitely watch my video about it. People are spending their lives in such video games because they are fun and they are also at the forefront of computer graphics. Nobody waited for Zuck to get people kind of living in a virtual world. That's why it's funny to hear it coming from Facebook and a lot of people don't get it. Financial Education Jeremy, for example, in one of his videos he tried to explain the falling meta stock price 
because the metaverse potential wasn't priced in. The company is unbelievably undervalued. The metaverse is not priced in at all. But it is priced in, my man. It just has no value. Facebook is not at all the company that will deliver anything like this. And I'm not even talking about generating substantial revenue thanks to it. So who will actually create the metaverse? A metaverse of a grand vision should be useful and mainstream. And today the closest 3D spaces that fit this description are video games. Useful means fun, otherwise there's no point in being there. So a metaverse will most likely emerge from a video game and not by itself from nothing. And it will be based on the best graphics engine available out there, so either Unreal Engine or Unity. I also have a video about Unity if you're interested, by the way. It can be both, of course. There can be several projects like this, even though the dream is to have just one main metaverse for everybody. That's why game engine companies are trying to work together to make uh, them somehow compatible, not to be locked into one in particular. So such an engine will be used for its performance and graphic quality. If you try the Unreal 5 Matrix demo, for example, you've seen how impressive it is. Something like this would be a great start, but it's extremely heavy on data and computer power. And for the fun part, that's where it has to emerge from a video game first. Fortnite's popularity makes it a great candidate, but the cartoonish graphics are still not the right ones. Uh, they're great for the game, not the ideal metaverse. There can be many other big video game studios that own popular game franchises with open worlds that could attract many people to modified kind of metaverse versions of them, but I'll still go with Epic Games as the company that is the best positioned for this. They have the engine, they have the users, and they know how to make fun video games. Uh, that's why they should launch something along the blurred line of a video game slash metaverse, which people will still be playing first for the user engagement part, and then integrate metaverse aspects inside it little by little. I believe that this is something that will happen, but still, this isn't going to turn into a matrix kind of life dystopia that Zuck has wet dreams about. And remote work is not a reason for believing that people will close themselves off in virtual headsets. Actually, it's the opposite. Remote work and COVID restrictions reminded people how great it is to enjoy real life and nature, not how to become a virtual zombie. Let me know what you think about the metaverse and what's going to happen in the comments and smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. See you soon!